Tell me a little bit about what all was involved in getting this off the ground, the uh, Thong event here at Council Rock South. I actually had to talk to our assistant principal, Mr. Cassidy, and I talked to him about all the benefits that this college has, and right away he went to talk to the other principals and asked if we could have it at South. What was your favorite thing that you like to do most about with this? Um, honestly, everything, because there's so much stuff that you have to do, like making the shirts, making the lion dance, just out fundraising, getting the word out to the community, so everything about it is just amazing. What made you personally decide to get involved with this event? I actually went up to Penn State's Thon, and I just loved the experience and the feeling that came along with it, and I wanted to bring that experience to South. Tell me a little bit about how Pulse Entertainment got involved with the event here tonight for uh, Thon. Well, Thon's a really big thing at Pulse Entertainment. We have tons of Penn Staters, which is where it comes from originally, and one of our dancers, uh, Lauren Shane, decided that she was going to bring that spirit to Council Rock and came to us with the project and we said absolutely. Uh, we have, our dancers are everywhere here, the whole crew is here, it's, it's an absolute great time. What's involved in making the shirts for the thon here? It's a lot of work, we did almost every single shirt within the last week of preparing, so it's uh, ink and then a flash dryer for the heater. And who designed the screen uh, for the printing of it? Um, Mackenzie Bora designed the, they half designed it and is with Lauren Shane and Mr. Fred Bauer, our graphic artist uh, teacher. How many shirts did you make for this event? Um, we made over 100 for the student shirts and then around 150 for our community shirts. 